Hello and welcome to Let's Play Police Quest in pursuit of the Death Angel. Ooh, they're shooting the logo. This game is a little bit older than uh, what I've done so far, and it's also a little bit different than my other Let's Plays. So, this Let's Play will also be a little bit different. For one thing, I'm gonna have to read all the dialogue, and I'm not very good at doing voices. So, we'll see how that goes. I'll watch the credits first. If you're thinking this sounds different than how you remember this game, if you've played it yourself, that's because I'm playing under Scum VM, and it emulates the IBM PC Junior sound system, which is a little bit better than the PC speaker, because it supports three voices rather than uh, just one. What great graphics they are, Jerry. Police Quest is one of the first games I ever played, on the PC at least. Back when I didn't really speak any English, so I just followed a walkthrough, not really knowing what was going on. And in fact, these old Sierra games were a big contributing factor in me learning to speak English. Well, just loops now. Okay, there we are. Um, I'm just going to pause while I continue talking here because we have to move relatively quickly in the beginning. Otherwise, we'll miss the briefing. We are Sonny Bonds, a police officer in the Lytton Police Department. Lytton is a fictional town in Southern California. And today we are on traffic duty, so we'll have to go to the shift briefing and then get out on patrol, write some tickets, or arrest some people or something. Okay, the first thing we need to do, though, is go and grab a shower. Actually, no, we're going to go and uh, grab our equipment. So, let's do that. Well, we're walking really slowly. So I'm going to walk a bit faster by increasing the speed of the game. In a locker room, everybody else is already here, preparing for the shift, I suppose. You can take a shower here um, if you want. But right now you don't need to and you don't get any points for doing so. So... Yes, for those of you not aware uh, of how old Sierra games work, they give you points for everything you do correctly, and some things that you might be, uh, be able to uh, skip and still make it to the end of the game. So, if you get to the end of the game and have full score, then you know you've done everything. Well, right now, we need to get our equipment, our gun, for instance. The policeman's tool belt. Don't leave home without it. And we need um, uh, ammo, of course, for the gun. You take a speed loader with six rounds of .357 Magnum hollow point silver jacketed bullets. And we need our briefcase. Your briefcase contains many items you'll need in the field. And you actually need to take your stuff out of the briefcase. Just having it with you in the briefcase isn't enough if you want to use it. Which is a bit strange, but that's the kind of logic that Sierra games use. Get notebook. You take the notebook from your briefcase. Get pen. This pen was a high school graduation gift. And we need our ticket book. You take your pinch book from your briefcase. 
I guess that's a slang term for ticket book, I suppose. Close briefcase. Mm -hmm. See, we already have eight points. We're well on our way. Can talk to the other people here by just walking into them. Can you believe that Morris Fudley? Every day he showers here, because he's too cheap to shower at home. This guy's called Keith, I think. This one's Steve. Say, Sonny, do you know how to tell the difference between an oral and a rectal thermometer? By the taste! Well, see you later. I'm late for a day to raise my caffeine level. This is Jack. Boy, what a hangover I have. I should have left the Blue Room earlier last night. The Blue Room is a, a bar that police officers like to go to. We'll see it later in the game. And there's Morris Fudley taking a shower. Do you know the best thing about this shower, Sonny? It's free! Too bad you have to work, Sonny, says Fudley. I'm 1010. It's beer time for me. Radio code 1010, according to the manual, means end of shift, off duty. Why he doesn't just say uh, that he's off duty, I don't know. I guess this is cooler or something. You'd better get on your beat before Sergeant Dooley catches you blowing off department time. I'd better. I hope I'm not uh, too late for the briefing. Nope, I'm still on time. I know that because the newspaper is still here. If the briefing had already finished, the newspaper would be gone. So, let's uh, read the paper. You pick up this morning's edition of the Lytton Tribune. Well, of course, as is my idiom, I will actually read the paper. Dope in the city. The city of Lytton, once a beautiful, peaceful, quiet city with few major crime problems, is now experiencing rapid growth and prosperity. But along with growth has come an alarming increase in the crime rate. That is, see dope, page 2. So we need to continue on page 2, and it's actually on the right column now. I'm just going to continue reading the column, uh, the right column, uh, instead of saying that I need to go to the next page every time. Okay, um... Alarming increase in the crime rate that is threatening the peace of Lytton. Police Sergeant John Dooley states that dangerous drugs are showing up on the streets and in our schools. The homicide rate and prostitution are at a level the city has never seen. The Tribune has learned from a reliable source that a big-time drug dealer with a street name of Death Angel may be responsible for the drug, tra drug traffic. Hmm, isn't that the guy we're supposed to be in pursuit of according to the title of the game? LPD Officer of the Year nominees. Lytton PD Chief Whipplestick has nominated Sonny Bonds and Joe uh, bon oh, sorry, Joe Walters for the LPT LPD Officer of the Year award due to outstanding effort and commitment in cr crime prevention. How nice! We're, we're nominated. Um, okay. Let's read the other column of the paper which is President Hickle. I guess that's the president of the USA in this uh, fictional universe. Smugsville, USA. President Hickle was in Smugsville yesterday evening observing the annual migration of the red-bellied swamp coddlers. The president, who has been a bird lover since childhood, rates the mating dance of the coddler as being as spectacular as the golden crown scum sucker. Oh yeah, that's a useful comparison. The president candidly admitted that he once skipped the Geneva Arms Convention to watch some old cuddlers mate. The president says a bill is presently b before the Senate to procla proclaiming National Cuddler Day. Okay, apparently the president in this universe is an idiot. Escaped. Lytton City Jail reported the escape of a female prison inmate last night. Florine flustered Flora Paxton flew the coop by hiding beneath a pile of soiled prison laundry in a hand-pushed basket. Okay, so everybody working at the prison is also an idiot. Kingdom of Daventry is now under siege by a renegade three-headed dragon. One unidentified gnome stated the kingdom is in a state of emergency. That, of course, refers to... Uh, um, King's Quest Three. 
where Daventry is attacked by a three-headed dragon, and only Prince Alexander can save him. Sierra does that a lot. They like to pluck their other games. Okay, well, um, we'll do the briefing in the next video.